This month I've had lots of questions about aches and pains, sometimes joint aches but not always. And whenever there is aches and pains, you have to find out whether what's really going on is inflammation. That's normally the case. Inflammation is redness, pain, swelling. And at one level, that means that something's insulting your body. There's something you're doing that is exceeding your body's capacity to adapt. In some cases, it might be a hidden food allergy, or it might be that you have some uh, compression on a joint or, or vertebra. Uh, which is causing pain and you've got to deal with the root cause so for example if it's to do with posture or being overweight or uh, you know eating perhaps a food you're allergic to you have to deal with that first however um, once dealt with then there are natural anti-inflammatories you see the problem with the anti-inflammatory drugs is they damage the gut to some extent and that makes you even more prone to food intolerances for example now my favorite natural anti-inflammatory is first of all definitely omega-3 fish oils. The more seeds like chia seeds, walnuts, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds and oily fish, uh, salmon, mackerel and so on you eat and the more you supplement omega-3s so that reduces inflammation while meat and dairy products actually increase your tendency towards inflammation. There are also various natural anti-inflammatory substances like curcumin in turmeric, quercetin, uh, in red onions. There's something called oleocanthal in olives, which is very good. Hops also have a very potent uh, anti-inflammatory. And good anti-inflammatory formulas contain you know, cocktails of these, and they really do work if you get the dose right. But to give you an example, when I give quercetin, I give 500 uh, milligrams. Now, one red onion is 20 milligrams, so we're talking about you know, more than the equivalent of, you know, 20 red onions. So eating food really helps, but it's not enough. Now, if you have joint problems, the, the cartilage of joints is made from glucosamine. That's like the sort of two by fours of the joints and sulfur are like the nails. And so you can get glucosamine sulfate, but I prefer glucosamine hydrochloride and MSM, which is a very, very absorbable form of sulfur. So once again, in joint support formulas, you can, you can get all these nutrients and they really do help, plus the omega-3s. Now, keeping your blood sugar even is important to reduce pain. Uh, there's a lot of association between high homocysteine, lack of B vitamins, and increased level of pain. Uh, if you are significantly overweight, your, your body actually goes into an inflammatory state. So getting your omegas up, stabilizing your blood sugar, making your homocysteine uh, level low with enough B vitamins, not eating foods you're allergic to, with wheat and milk being the most common allergy provoking foods, and then increasing nature's natural anti-inflammatories. Uh, this is the way to help yourself get out of chronic pain. If your problem is to do with arthritis or joints, my book Say No to Arthritis explains very well how to do it. But these principles also apply for other inflammatory conditions, uh, which, by the way, usually end in itis.